Welcome back, everybody, to the Jetstream Sam DLC of Metal Gear Rising. I'm Alexander Frost, your host and unintended battle fighter. Because I'm not good at the stealth with Sam. But that's okay. We don't need to be okay with stealth. We're Jetstream Sam. We just kill things. Viciously. Yes, we're approaching it from the other end. If we didn't take the freight elevator, this is where we would have had to have exited before. Now, are there any enemies here? That I am not sure of. Oh, someone knows I'm here. Dang monkey. Ugh. Stealth is overrated. Come get some. Screaming intruder alert. Did I kill you? Yes. No. Well, oh, I do need to look for items. There is actually... Yeah, you can also hop up there as, uh, as Sam. I'm not sure if there's a trophy for going up there as Sam. No, there is an <laughs> item up there if you go up there. That much I am sure of. think it might even be a health upgrade, which I very badly need. Well, maybe not very badly, but it would be nice to have. But I need to be careful because these uh, lovely little lanterns here are destructible. Although the double jump certainly does help. Actually, yeah, I don't even need the lanterns to get up there. That's how I would have had to needed to get up there if I was riding. I guess there wasn't anything up here. I thought there was. Oh, but there's a flyer. I saw it. I saw it. Double stab. Good. I guess your little flyer buddy decided to take off. I guess all that's up here was a fight. Oh well. I thought there was more, but I was mistaken. No health? Nothing? Nothing there, nothing there. A few of the boxes that were here when I was playing as Raiden aren't here now, simply because Sam doesn't have the ninja rod he was needed. Remember, I have that air dash, too. Oh, here we go. There is something in here for me. So, all 
right, let's just go ahead and move on out. No point in sticking around anymore. Kitty cat! Just in case you uh, missed the cat on the beach when you played the main game, there's the kitty cat. Yeah, I don't think there's a point to doing this. I mean, again, he doesn't exactly have a stealth mode. Nothing like a sword fight under the cherry blossoms. Yeah, he doesn't exactly have. Um, I forget what I was gonna say. Not exactly the sword fight I was looking for, but. Interrupting my fight, sir. Come here, puppy. It's hard to use that vertical hit when I'm in the air, isn't it? Kind of worked. Ah, uh, another VR mission. Well, you know what? I do believe I have enough. If I were playing on normal, I might try and do it just so I could get the extra health, but it's easy mode. I think I'll be okay with 150 points of health. I think I'll make it. Hi, I'm Sam. Good morning, don't raise the alarm. Oh, this part. This is gonna be fun. Another one? This place is huge. I'm gonna have that ready, just in case. Yep, monkeys! Oh, I did split that grenade in half. Dude! I was about to send out to that guy. He just got in the way. I'm about to get bear hugged. Yep. No, 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 no. Where did they come from, eh? Yes, we have to fight them quick because more monkeys are coming. Don't take too long to get over Bird. Oh, yeah, go. Uh, I have to fight in this little tiny space. Sort of tiny space. There's no running away back to the Japanese garden. Of course, it doesn't really matter. Again, hard mode. Now that was interesting. Normally, when you destroy a UG, you get one of those circuit type things in there. You know, that looks like a cylinder, but when I got that big guy, I got a spinal column like I would off of a living being. Now that is interesting. I'm impressed, Sam. Who is this? But not surprised. 
You're one of the most qualified applicants we've ever had. Applicants? I'm not here for a job. <laughs> oh, but you're doing so well at our test, Sam. You're... Armstrong. I already have a job. Destroying men like you. Bastards who keep the status quo. Send others to die. All from your cushy corner office where... Well put, Sam. You and I have more in common than you think. Come on up to the roof for your final interview. What are you talking about? <laughs> Hurry. Don't want to keep the new boss waiting. Sweet, I'm full of nano pear paste. Access denied. Enter security code. Access denied. Enter security code. Guess I'm gonna go have to find the code. Hi. Okay, so I could block that. I just wasn't doing a good job of it. Hey, charge at me again. Hey, charge at me again. No, you're not charging at me. to see how Sam would do it. This is probably like the last chance I'm going to have to actually run into one of these things here. Oh well. Can't have it all, I guess. Oh, doesn't this look familiar? I'm supposed to go this way, but Enter security code. <sighs> Looks like I'll need to slice up some security until they drop one. Yep, I got to go find security until they give me what I want. I could also go this way. Hey there. You have what I'm looking for? Wrong one. Security code blue? Did I come from this way? Yes, I did. Can I open this? Yes, I have the right key card. VR terminal, which I'm not terribly concerned with today. Let's just do that before Monkey Ball comes at me. Security guard is on. And now I lost it. Red card. This isn't the way to go, but goodies await. A 
are supposed to await. Goodies are supposed to await. Oh, damn. Maybe I shouldn't have tried to piss off both of them at the same time. Maybe I should have only done one of them. But then again, I think that's something I keep forgetting with Sam is his use of of um, the taunt mechanic isn't just crap, come on with the missiles. His use of the taunt mechanic isn't just to piss enemies off. It's almost an integral part of his fighting style. He has to to. to He has to do it to make enemies vulnerable. Don't tell, don't ask me how he rushed through all that, but whatever. You good? Did we get a reward for that? Can't get up there. Is there something in here? Nope, can't get up there either. So aside from that repair nano pace, there really was no point in going in here. Aside from the extra BP, of course. Well, we got what we came for. And we're actually just about at the end, folks. I'm not at 100% health, but 150 is just as good. At least for easy mode. If I were playing on hard mode, then yes, I would absolutely need all, all, all the points I could get. But I have five nano repair pastes, so I'm looking good, and uh, I think we're ready. Is there anything over here? No, anything over there? Yep, last nano repair paste we're ever going to use. All right, folks, let's get it on. Oh, son of a. Get that shit out of here. I ain't got time for that. That was just rude. That's what that was. Sam! Thanks for coming in. What's your game, Armstrong? Gonna talk me to death? <laughs> Like I said, son, time for your final interview. Ooh! 
could use a man like you, Sam. Organize violence, waging war as business. We're gonna put an end to all that bullshit. Maybe, maybe I misjudged you. Then how about it? Will you lend us a hand? A hand, eh? How about I take yours? yours. Welcome aboard. <laughs> and now I hope you can see why that particular fight with Armstrong is more challenging as Sam. Not just because... Well, he... Well, as you saw, he was a lot more aggressive. He ended up using a move that he never used against Raiden. That charge move that I only just figured out how to backflip. It's like, the only way I could figure out how to dodge it when I was first playing it on normal was to be right above him just as he starts the charge because if you try and jump into the air at a distance he'll just alter his trajectory and still hit you he'll just take off into the air after you the only way to avoid it was to be right on top of him and if he hit you with it that was a good 25 to 50 points of health gone so it literally is a battle of attrition just wearing him down slowly. In this case, believe it or not, assist actually was less useful because I could have been getting in extra licks between his hits, I could have been dodging to get around behind him, so having auto assist on was actually more of a burden than a help. But still, it was easy mode, so I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the credits, and I will see you in the next video when we begin playing as Blade Wolf. So until next time, everyone. Looking down on the cars on the highway A stream of taillights Everybody is dancing together To so willingly sacrifice rights When people accept their cars in the system Give up, we will conform Individual pieces of dust Together, we go.
This is official state business! <laughs> I said clear the road! We're authorized to use force if you turn! <laughs> 